Hello everyone, welcome to T4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to write batch process in your custom module. So this is a form which I already created. So this is a configuration form and the module is also created. So you can see the module here. I just have only info file, routing file, and then a, a configuration form here. So if you don't know how to create a configuration form, you can go and check my video. I already posted a video regarding that. And then when, the, when you submit the configuration form, I'm going to create a batch process. So when you see the uh, form, here you can see I have two fields. One is text to prepare in title, and the next one is content type. So if I give any uh, text here, text added, and then I'm selecting content type of page, basic page. So when you go here, so I have some basic page contents here. So I'm going to prepare this text into all the basic page content. So when you submit the form, you can see the batch process is started. And here you can see the count how many contents are updated. So it was around 50 content. So now the batch process completed and also you can see 50 records successfully updated, okay? So when you go and uh, let me filter only the basic page. So in basic page content, you can see in all the title, the text is added, the text added, text added, text added. So this is what we are going to achieve now. So I already written the code. I'm just going to explain the code. And also I'm going to attach the uh, Git repository link to get the code of this. And in the code, I also added the inline commenting. If you want, you can check them. So this is the code. So first, I just created a configuration and the ID for my config form. And here I have a get editable get config name and next I have a build form here where I am going to uh, construct a form so first is text to add so the text which we are going to prepare in the title that will be the first field and that is a type of text field that's what I added here and here I'm getting the uh, current configuration value and I am adding that in the default value here. And then next, what I'm doing, next I have to create a options for the content type, whatever I'm having. Here I have only article and basic page. So I'm loading all the um, content types, node types by, by using the entity type manager service. So when you use it, it will give you all the content type, whatever you are having. And I'm just passing it in the for loop and I'm constructing the option for the select field and the next will be select field here the title is content type and then options whatever i constructed and as like before i just uh, giving a default value from the configuration variable so this is done and next will be submit form here what i'm doing i'm just first saving all the configuration values so in from form state we will be getting all the values i'm getting them and i'm saving them in the configurations and i'm just saving here and once this is done, now what I have to do, if I selected article content type or basic page content type, I have to load all the node for that particular content type. So that's what I'm doing here. So here you can see, I am just using the entity query of node and I'm pausing all the content types. So when you pass all the content types, uh, not all the content types, the content type which the person was selected. If it is an article, so article will be passing here as in the conditions. So here I can just consider I'm passing basic page. So type will be the basic page and I'm just executing it. Once you execute it, you will get all the MIDs. But we are going to update the title. So we need an object for that. So I'm just using the load multiple function to get all the node objects. So here you will get the node object. So once you got all the node objects in array, so this will be in the array format. Next, what I'm doing, I am going to construct an array where I'm going to mention each batch item. So each batch item will be constructed as a array format so that uh, when you 
uh, do the batch process, you will be able to see completed one of 10, two of 10, three of 10, four of 10. So all will be coming based upon this. So here each batch item will be each node. So when you use for each nodes, and I'm buzzing node here, and here I'm constructing a new variable operation. You can give any name. Here I'm just using operation here. And this, what you have to do, you have to pass the function on which function you are going to update all the nodes. First argument will be the function name of the uh, node update where I'm going to update all the nodes. And second argument will be the array of argument which you are going to pass in this function. So you can give n number of arguments. Here I have only one, only two. So I just passing only two. If you have n number of arguments, you can uh, construct all as array and you can pass it. Both will work. So here first what I'm doing, as I already mentioned, each batch item will be each node. So here I'm passing each node. So each node will be added as a each operation. And the text what I have to add in that content. So that will be passing as a second argument text to add. Okay. So now the operation is constructed. So once the array is constructed, I have to pass this to batch process so that the batch will be started executing. For that, so next I'm creating a variable batch and I'm giving a title. So when you run the batch process at the top, you can see the title will be coming. So that the title I'm giving here. And next one is operations. In operation, you have to give all the operation array which you constructed already. So operations will contain each batch item data. So that is what operations. And next one is finished. So once this batch process is completely finished, this function will get called where you can add the messages like this much is completed and this much is failed and something you can add whatever you want. Once this is done and this is the main function which you have to add that is batch set and this function will add a batch process to your uh, form which I created here. And next here, uh, whenever you create a batch functions, make sure the function is static because we are using scope resolution operator here. So I have created a static function and the function is batch update nodes. And here you can see there are two arguments I'm passing and one is a node and one is a node. And next one is text to add, text to add. And the third argument, this is a default argument you have to add that is context, okay? So if you are passing only one argument, you just need to neglect this, that's it. So once that is done, so here the node will be object, right? Because we are passing in for, each, in for each, we are passing all the node objects. So here, this will be a single node object. So first, what I have to do, I have to create a new title for the node. So which means I just need to add this in, in front of this title, existing title. So first text to add and constructing new title, I'm just concatenating that with the title, which is already there. So get title, get value, and then zero, value. So once I got it, next what I'm doing, I'm just setting the title for the content. So set title, the title, the new title which you created. And next I'm using uh, try catch so that I, ha I can have a track of success and fail. So if the, say, if the node is saved successfully, I am just adding a count like a one. You can give even one, both will work. So um, this will be giving us a flag. So you can give one also, both will work. So if one item is success, that will be added to a success array. If one is failed, that will be added to a failed array. So you will be having a two arrays. And once that is done, now the uh, complete action is completed. And next you have to go to the finish update. So that is the last function where you are going to print the messages. Here you will have a uh, success argument. So this represents the complete batch process is success or not. So if your batch process is completely success without any error, it will come to the first if condition or else it will go to the next else condition finished with an error. So first I'm just constructing a message, empty message. And then next, so whatever you are passing in the context. So you have to mention all the value in the context array. So when you see the function, you can see there is an ambassador, so which means the value will be returned automatically 
So whatever uh, message you want to pass to the finish uh, update function, you have to mention those in the context so that you will be uh, able to get those values in the finish update if you are passing those values with the context variable. So here I am using context and results you have to mention each inside the result key value so that you will be getting that in the result variable here and then next i'm giving success and then failed here so here when you see results in result so as we mentioned already if it is a success is set and if it is not empty if it will come to this if condition or if there is any failed item so that will be coming in this if condition okay so here what i'm doing first i'm just getting the count so here, how you will get the value is that just consider um, we have only five items. So if you have five item success, then the array will be um, array will be dollar results of success equal to so it will be having five one inside it so one two three four five so that is what we are doing we are doing there when you scroll up and see so whenever the item particular item is success i'm just adding adding one 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 so if you have five item success it will be having five uh one here if you are having failed the same will be for failed items okay so now we will get the count and here i'm using translation service and format plural so the use of this uh, function is that when you have a single item so the message will be like one record success when you have plural item plural uh, n number of items so the message should be uh, printed in plural so like 10 records success so for that type of printing, you can use this service. So based upon the count, it will get the first argument. If this is more than one, this will get the second argument. Okay. So at count will be replaced with the argument which you are passing in the first. Okay. And this is what I'm doing here. And the same for failed. So once that is done, at the end, I'm just adding a messenger service to add the message in the front. And that's it. Now the batch is completed. So uh, let me do now for article, article text, <clears throat> save configuration. So now you can see the title updating note, whatever you gave it. So updating notes, the title updating notes. So that will be coming at the top and it's 30 record success. So this is how you have to write a batch process. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.